Okay, welcome to this session of uh, our class. In this class, we are going to find the least upper bound and the least upper bound, we call it supremum, and the greatest lower bound, we call it infimum of a given set. So, this set is a set of, uh, actually, this is a sequence, it's a sequence. So, how we just approach this question? Let us just do it in part. For example, let's consider this minus 1 to the power of n. This is a troublemaker, okay? This is a challenge, students. So, therefore, minus 1 to the power of n is 1 for n is even, okay? If you take even numbers, like 2, minus 1 to the power of 2 is 1, 4, minus 1 to the power of 4 is 1. And the next one is minus 1. If, the power, if n is odd, let's take for example 1, minus 1 to the power of 1 is 1, minus 1 to the power of 3 is minus 1, minus 1 to the power of 5 is minus 1, and so on and so forth. So for n is odd, let's make it like this. So we have got this one. So whenever we return to the original question, to the original question, this is equal to like this. For example, let's make it as usual for n is even. If n is even, minus 1 to the power of even number is from this one is 1. Therefore, this is written as 1 minus 1 to the power of 1 over n. Whenever n is odd, 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 this is like this for n is even and whenever n is odd this is negative one therefore minus minus is plus simply this is one plus one over n, n is odd now let's see elements of the two parts for one minus one over n this is the even part let's insert even number for example starting from two one minus one over two 1 minus 1 over 4, 1 minus 1 over 6, and so on. If we see what happens at the end, as n tends to infinity, as n tends to infinity, 1 over n goes to 0, therefore 1 minus 0 is simply 1. So this is 1 minus 1 over 2 is 1 minus 1 over 2 is, this is 1 over 2. 1 minus 1 over 4 is 3 over 4. 1 minus 1 over 6 is 5 over 6, blah, 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 1. So, let us see, let us see this one. 1 over 2 is what? This is 0 0.5. This is 0 0.7, blah, blah, blah. 5 over 6, this is 5 divided by 6, 1. Mm, this again is actually how much? 5 divided by 6 is... 0 0.8 something like that and finally it stops at 1 it stops at 1 so if we see let's kill this here this is a trend it starts from 0 0.5 it decreases to 0 0.7 then 0 0.8 blah 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 it stops at 1 we see what the trend of what increasing increasing here but finally it converges at 1 okay it's good Let's go to 1 minus 1 over n, actually for even, this is plus. I'm going to insert all numbers here to make it more clear. So this is 1 plus 1 over 1, 1 plus 1 over 3, 1 plus 1 over 5. And let's, let's see what happens at the end. As n tends to infinity, 1 over n goes to 0. Therefore, 1 plus 0 is Again, here it is 1. It's 1. So, what's 1 plus 1? This is 2. This is 1 plus 1 over 3. 4 over 3. This is 5 times 1. 5 plus 1 is 6 over 5. This is 1. This is 1. So, let's see this. Let's see this. Let's see this. Look, this is 2. This is 4 over 3 is... 1.33 something like this. 6 over 5 is 
1.2 and so on blah 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 one one now let's merge these two parts let's merge these two parts because we need one answer our question is actually split into two so the even part is the old part look let's see this this part this part is increasing this part is increasing and while this part is decreasing okay from two 1.1 this part is decreasing look for this one the least number is 0 0.5 and the largest number actually which is not on the set is one so this is the least upper bound we call this least upper bound for this particular set least upper bound or supremum 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 this is supremum and for this one for the same for the odd number if you see the odd number two is the largest one and finally so that one therefore this is again what this is the supremum or the least upper bound of this particular part so who is the largest of the two who is the largest of the two two and one therefore the least upper bound for the original question whenever we merge it these two therefore two is taken as what two is two is the supremum of a or simply for your information the least upper bound of a is two and whenever we come to the next question the next question the infimum or the greatest lower bound if we see this one this is the least number on this part 0 0.5 this one is the least number on this part but we are trying to merge these two so that we will get the answer for the original question look here 0 0.5 is the smallest here one is the smallest therefore the smallest of the two is what 0 0.5 or 1 over 2 0 0.5 or 1 over 2 hence hence the infimum of a or the greatest lower bound of the set a is the sigma one this is equal to one over two one over two so you can approach it in this way okay by just treating n as even and n as odd we can just simply approach the question and finally get the answer thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Strike the ring button to get the new notification. Thank you.